It's time for the last match of the day with two points up for grabs in this encounter. Let's bring on the players. First up for the British Bulldogs and both looking for their second win this week is Joe Salisbury and Emma Rajikanu. And looking to bump the Union Jacks up the scoreboard is Jody Burridge and Andy Murray. Good evening and welcome back. <laughs> it's all got a little circus act here, isn't it? It's been a long day, Kat. <laughs> Good to see the passion going. At this sort of time, they've all refueled. They've yeah. had a bit of dinner, ready to go for the last match of the day. That's Naomi Cavity. I'm Nick Lester. We'll be with you here for the last match of the evening. Okay, guys, so, uh, two tie break sets tonight, scoring uh, Juice, uh, men to men, women to women, serving uh, three minutes as a warm up, no sit downs for the first five games, and automatic line calling to just keep playing until uh, you hear a call. Okay. Questions? Tails? No. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, day will come to a conclusion with the the former world number one, of course, Andy Murray here, who will be playing doubles only as the Union Jacks for the Union Jacks who have just eaten into the lead somewhat it's been a rough day for them again the British Bulldogs having a good one wins for Norrie, Liam Brody, Joe Conter, Maya Lumsden and the singles really gave them off to a really good start but Murray and Burridge up against Salisbury and Radu Kanu two points on offer for this one We've seen a lot of this lady, haven't we, over the last month or so. Jodie Burridge, who, as we mentioned yesterday, has had a, a really significantly poor run with injury. The ankle surgeries, three of them, it kept her off the court. But certainly at this stage of her career, Cap, would you say she's tracking well? Yeah, absolutely. For, for me, I just think she is ready to go right now. She is desperate for the tour to get up and running. She's playing the best that she has ever played. Two uh, she's already pushing up the rankings uh, as well. Uh, I'd love to see her just get, get that good run. As you say, it has been a bit interrupted by injury, but she's a great talent. And very much expect to see her in the uh, Grand Slam qualifying very soon. A man who needs no introduction, 33 years of age now. Andy, who is, uh, see the doubles ranking 85, of course, when he came back last summer, very much played a lot of doubles initially with Feli Lopez. Played a little bit with Marcello Mello, didn't he? Of course, played Wimbledon with Pierre Huguerbert. And interesting to see the proudest achievement. He notches it down as carrying the Olympic torch. I was listening to an interview the other day with him and members of his team talking about their achievements and that win at Wimbledon in 2012 being such a obvious career highlight for him but it's uh, good to see him here even if only in a doubles format this week plans as far as we're aware certainly One still minute. to go and play in the states assuming everything does go ahead he's a lady who is thought highly of in this country emma Radu Kanu, who's from your neck of the woods, isn't she? She is, yeah, just down the road. So I've known her since she was very young, of course. So really nice to see how she's been growing into the game. But uh, she still has plenty of schoolwork to be doing, which she's been continuing on with in lockdown. That's been keeping her very seconds. busy. And once she gets all of that wrapped up, she'll be looking at going full time out on the tour. Academically, a very bright young Ladies lady, and gentlemen, of course, Andy Murray, Jody Chinese Burry, and Romanian the parents. And chose to Keeps himself busy. Has had a couple of shoulder injuries as well in recent weeks to deal with, but really did play well yesterday in the win over 
Katie Bolter indoors. Here's Joe Salisbury. What a comeback that was. One of the best comebacks, perhaps, of his career in terms of the match tie breaks. There wasn't a lot of hope. End of warm-up. Down 8-2 as they were, but uh, remarkably was able to pull off a, a run of eight points in a row. It was Joe and Harriet Dart to end the evening last night. One of the best athletes you will find on a doubles court, unquestionably. The Australian Open winner back in January in Melbourne. What a wonderful achievement that was alongside Rajiv Ram. Conditions certainly a lot calmer, aren't they, than they were when we were out here earlier on, Naomi? Yeah, the wind uh, just just chilling out a little bit. It was pretty brutal earlier on around lunchtime. Could be a good end to the evening for the Union Jacks if they can secure victory here. Andy Murray and Jody Burridge teaming up together. Actually warmed up together just about an hour or so ago. Did these two just on the far side it's unsurprising that both of these two pairs teaming up together for the first time this evening scratch bearing Salisbury to start Touch. Actually, the first thing that stands out to me is Andy playing on the juice side. 15 which doesn't often happen, does it? No. Interested in that. Wonder whether that was Burridge putting a foot down and saying, Oi, I'll take the ad. Yep. We've seen Jodie Burridge up close and personal as well. Uh, Naomi, just give us a, an idea of her journey over the last few years. You mentioned the injury problems she's had. What has she improved in her game, do you think, more recently? Oh, well, a huge amount. And even just through lockdown, I mean, it's tough for players to come out better than they went into lockdown. But she absolutely has improved that movement out of sight. The patience as 30, well in her game. She has so many weapons. The backhand. Well, down the line and cross court for me the backhand down the line is my favorite thing to watch and it honestly has been such a, a treat to see her playing so well and so consistently well over the past few weeks when she was playing against joe conta yesterday it didn't feel like she was redlining she was playing far above her ranking but felt like it was fairly comfortable and that's just the new jody Both of the women out on court today have not played an awful lot of mixed doubles, if any at all, and uh, <laughs> separate conversations. They're both a little bit concerned about returning the guy's serve. Good move from Emma played much doubles in her early, early days? Uh, yeah, well, you play through the juniors, of course, because the, the doubles points actually contribute to your singles ranking, so it's kind of madness not to play. But, you know, on the whole, she really does focus on the singles. Oh, what a good return that was. was Jeeves, deciding point. first serve. Trying to catch her off guard. Well, she hasn't missed a return yet, Burridge. So she's got to be happy with that start. Deciding point. Male, male, of course. Game. Wonderful Murray. stuff from Jody Burridge. 
First game. The first break in the opening game. All smiles for Burridge. Bit of a treat to be playing with Andy, I'm sure. She was chuffed when that selection came through. She's definitely earned it. As you mentioned, Nick, I mean, she really has just been one of the outstanding performers over the past few weeks since this domestic season has got underway. And with that big win yesterday over Conta. I think Andy's last mixed doubles partner was Serena Williams, wasn't it? I think you're right. Back in Wimbledon last year. Andy Murray representing Union Jacks to sir. Joe just all over the net, so tight to it. Really has developed a fantastic doubles game, Joe Salisbury. Aren't many weaknesses. Love 30. I think that was the one year of this 30. game that stood out was the serve in the initial Battle of the Brits here a month ago. Serving numbers were exceptional. Serving speeds were up. Obviously a big barometer of how he's feeling. Clearly you're playing indoors, so the conditions aren't going to have any impact, but that was a, an area of his game that was stood out. Go. 30 all. No need to listen to Murray. Andy saying, bounce it, give herself a bit more time. But Burridge was confident 40, she could 30. just take that one out of the air pretty easily. It was quite tough, especially in the wind. It's very deep in the court. Juice deciding point. It really was a high quality return. The first volley so difficult. Joe Salisbury just following the line of the ball critically. Just keep pushing forwards, was in perfect position. Yet another deciding point here. Let's first serve. Yeah. 
game. And two from two for Murray, Murray and Burridge. Burridge. Perfect first serve. Murray Burridge lead two games to luck. Perfect start. Uh, Murray just one step ahead, always incredibly irritating to play against. He hit most of his, well, he hit all of his serves down the tee to the backhand side of Salisbury, and that time just carving it out wide. Emirade Kanuta, sir. Light for sir. Murray saw him move, saw the gap. It was a great pick well, up 15. there from Raducanu. I have to say, in her singles match yesterday, the serve really was outstanding. The placement, the effectiveness of it. She was hitting so many aces. The first serve percentage wasn't very high, but she wasn't really getting punished for it because every time it went in, she was getting some joy. It's got to be a bit of a confidence boost to know you've got Joe Salisbury at the net to take care of it if you hit your spot. Yeah. That'll be a comforter. And on both occasions in this game, they're taking the Salisbury out of the equation by going up the line. 13. Clearly a plan of attack. Yes, definitely something to look for in mix because often the net player really looking to get involved. Of 40. And as, as good as Salisbury is at the net, of course, Radicano really needs to make some first serves just to help him out a little bit and set him up. Just struggling with that percentage again, like she was yesterday. So, more break points here. Game, Murray Burridge. So it's Murray Burridge, Murray and three Burridge games to up. who are in control of this first set. A double break already. No sit downs, three guys. They lead. Well, if there was any nerves from Burridge's perspective of obviously partnering Andy and everything that comes with that, you wouldn't know it so far. She has risen to the occasion already. Yeah, some really good reactions from her, really good quality play. Lots of life about them. It's been a long day, of course, both players have been supporting a lot as well. Been out there cheering on their teammates. Andy spent a lot of time actually all, all day yesterday and today. Jody Burridge to serve. Let's first serve. Love fifteen. She spent lockdown, I think, in the West Country, didn't she? Yeah. Jody Burridge down in Cornwall area. Her boyfriend actually is a, a professional rugby player, plays for the Leicester Tigers. Left for sir.
15 all. low enough did she 15 30 yeah Radicano doing pretty well to find the space straight through the middle so important where you place those volleys because with players at this level sometimes it doesn't really matter how hard you drill it at somebody if it's at a nice height and they can get their racket out in front they'll deal with it but it's about dipping it down it's trying to play behind the volley at the live formation Knows he didn't get enough on the volley. Costly error. 15 14. It wasn't easy to be fair, but. for the British Bulldogs to get a hold of. Something to work with here in this last match of the day. Murray Burridge leads three games to one. Yeah, nice volleys from Raducanu. That final one there, just getting it down to the feet of Murray. Just too difficult for him to get his racket underneath. Here we go, aggressive move made by Salisbury as soon as he saw the ball was going to be on Burridge. He made the move in. Took the time away. Love 15. And if you can get the return right down to the shoelaces there, it's just so difficult to control that pick up and it just sat there comfortably for Murray to drill away. Defence from Burridge, but ultimately not enough. 15 all. Yeah, it is taking a few shots, isn't it, to get through. All players seem to be reacting pretty well. Getting a couple back in play, but you've got a smash like that. And Salisbury finding the tram lines. Fifteen Again, it was the dipper down that set up the short ball put away. 15 14. Great work from Burridge off the back foot, but able to get it down to the shoes of Radicanu. Thirty fourteen. 
a really impressive finish. Juice, deciding point. Seeing the space. Good stuff, Radicano and Salisbury went back to back games here. And it's loud here tonight as it was last Marie evening. Bridge leads three games to two. It's 3 2. Just the one break. we're going to have a very quick chat with Judy Murray. Oh Judy, thank you for talking to us. <laughs> That's all right. We were just discussing, well, if, when was the last time you captained Andy, Judy? Do you remember? Oh have you ever captained Andy? Oh, my goodness. It would be a long time ago, way back in the juniors, probably when he was playing for Scotland and the Four Nations, you know, the Scotland, England, Ireland, Wales things, maybe under 14s. Nice. Yeah, that would be the last time. I'm not convinced he's going to listen to me here, but they're, <laughs> they're doing okay so far. <laughs> Quick word on Jodie Burridge, Judy. You saw her play yesterday, you've seen her play a bit. What really impresses you about Jodie's game? Time. I think how much she has improved in the last year since I actually saw her playing live. Serve is so much bigger, got a lot of options on the serve as well. Forehand is vastly improved, backhand has always been really solid. Um, and she's very confident, she looks very fit. So all round, you know, in, in 12 months, I think she's made massive improvements to her game. And I think that she has a big future if she keeps working hard. Thanks, Judy. What Judy didn't say is whether Andy listened to her back then, playing for Scotland. Do Four Nations still exist? They still play the Four Nations? Uh, yeah, I think they, they, yeah, they definitely do in the juniors. Dirty luck. Not up, not up, not up. No, 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 no. There was something wrong there. 40 low. No, a bit of controversy. I'm, I'm sure you didn't get that joke. Guys, come on. Somebody claiming it was a triple bounce. Not sure about that. <laughs> Salisbury not happy at all. Game, Murray, Murray. A perfect end to the game for Andy Murray. Right Murray, Murray, lead, lead four extended games to here. Two. to him not playing singles here this week. Do you read much into that in terms of just the physicality? Yeah, I think... Not a worry at all? Uh, no, I don't think so. Up. I think it's a precaution. And really, actually, I think in the first battle of the Brits, he possibly was a little bit surprised as to how long he was on the court for. He had a couple of really long matches there. Even though it was third set tie break, it was really quite full on for him back to back days. I don't think he would have wanted to put himself in the firing line for that this week. Kind of surprised he's not maybe just going to play one and test it out. 
could always change his mind, I of course. Say, yeah. We've got a whole week ahead of us. If he feels good tomorrow, com coming up after this dubs, then maybe he would like to. But he's talked about maybe playing the qualifying in Cincinnati, so looking to get a couple of extra matches on the board rather than looking for a wild card into the main draw. I say in Cincinnati, Cincinnati in New York. Thirty fifteen. And he was saying, wasn't he, in the uh, the first battle of the Brits, that his hip was bothering him, but it wasn't really affecting his play. It was just kind of he could feel something there, but it was not like it was at Davis Cup, where it actually was just stopping him from moving properly. Let's for serve. Radicanu still just struggling with the first serve percentage. Thirty yeah. off. Struggling on that second serve again. Such depth from Murray on the 13, return. 13-14. Yeah, when you're backpedaling in this sort of situation with a former world number one approaching. Easy to push the panic button somewhat under pressure. They are again on their own deal here. Two more break points. Well, there though, there's Emma Raducanu. Hughes, deciding point. Salisbury, Raducanu, so another Newell, deciding please. point goes the way of Murray Salisbury Murray and Raducanu. They avoid going down the double break. 4-3. Joe Salisbury, who, uh, <laughs> as we were discussing yesterday, is a, a Surrey boy. Actually lived in Putney for a long time, did Joe? Spent some time at the University of Memphis, spent a lot of time in fact at the University of Memphis, went there to get his education and continue his tennis, which obviously worked out very nicely. Take it to him this game, take it to him. Come on, Scott. My energy, you got this. Let's go. Come on. on it, Salisbury. 15 love. Tries he might to get involved. Here we go. 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 Here we go.
Mate, it's first serve. Murray doing well, covering the net there, all over it, nice and tight as well, but set up well by Burridge on the serve. Thirty fifteen. Continuing on with that service, Burridge, and something that Judy Murray mentioned in terms of how much that area has improved. Really great technically, maxing out with the legs, getting nice and high, setting her partner Murray up beautifully at the net. Okay, Murray Burry. Murray Burridge lead five games Looking really three. strong in that formation with Burridge at the back. Murray at the net. Shot from Andy Murray. How on earth did he see that part of the court? Let alone it into it. Such a strong angle off that shot he was reaching for. Salisbury did have an opportunity to put the volley away earlier on in the rally. I oh, look quite graceful on that one. Good move forward there from Radicanu, piling the pressure on, closing the net and the centre of the court. Tough to get it away from her when she does that. Thirteen fifteen. Very quiet over there now. Come on. Here we go, Jack. Come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. Oh. 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 
Got to say, 40, in terms 15. of the support, Dan Evans has just not stopped, has he? Just wrapped up his match out here as soon as possible. Definitely been the loudest one from the side. Game, Salisbury, ready, Canu. So, good first volley from Joe Murray Salisbury. Lead five games to four. He's made a habit of that over the last couple of years. As he and Emma Radu Kanu stay in the hunt here. 5-4. Rob Morgan here in the background there in the black jacket. I think he's been working with Joe, hasn't he, a little bit? Yeah. He's been on the practice court with him this week. Time. Fifth and final match of the day here this main centre court here at the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton Andy Murray serving to shut the gates on this opening set there's a clever shot there from Murray just cushioning it soft okay it wasn't a winner but it just pulled Salisbury so far up the court there was Plenty of space to play with. right at Burridge there but she managed to just get that one away before it hit her on the full Turn that was couldn't have hit it any better. Seen a couple of those, haven't we? Full stretch on the forehand side, looking way off balance. But the control of the racket head on the ball, she knew exactly what she was doing with that, dipping it way down low and out wide of Andy Murray. Just a little guilty of being a little bit shy with the volley for once. 13 14. Just couldn't quite do enough with it. Salisbury taking advantage. Here we go, Ryan. You got this. You got this, Ryan. 
to break points to get back on level terms here. Yeah, I couldn't quite find James it on that deciding one. Point. She has a couple of times with that one, just a bit too pacey, forcing the contact point back of Radicanu. Murray Burry. Perfect serve, tucking him up. And it's Six Murray and Burridge who got off to a very good start in this one. Uh, finished off the opening set. Proved to be perhaps a little tighter than it may have been, but 6 4 it is. They take it. It's Dan Evans wondering where Dom Inglot is because I think he's been the loudest on the Bulldog side of things. That's all right. And just having a little look at the stats, you can see when it comes to the serving, just a bit tidier when it comes to Murray and Burridge looking pretty good all round. And Salisbury and Radicani just struggling a little bit. Radicani took a while to get her first serve percentage going. He's getting punished a little bit on the second serve, which is why they gave up that break to love. Second set, Salisbury to sir. So Salisbury and Raducanu playing catch up down a set. Of course, the points total would increase tomorrow in terms of the amount of points on offer. Hindrance. Hindrance. 15 lot. that call against Murray? Anyway, it's irrelevant anyway, but... Yeah, 15 points on offer tomorrow as opposed to the 13 today. There will be three women's singles matches tomorrow. Two men's singles matches. And men's doubles. Two mixed. That'll be the... 30 love. The makeup of tomorrow's tennis. Captains will be uh, handing in their nominations later on tonight. saying we've actually seen Forty every lot. single player haven't we every single nominated players squad members played already in the opening two days be it singles or doubles game Salisbury Radicani yeah, super serving there from Salisbury wrapping that one up nice and quickly first serve's just so important when it comes to doubles, particularly in the mixed. Fifteen luck. Once again, 
and she cleans the return. 15 all. It's that same return, isn't it? Again, forehand outstretched down the tee. Able to control it so well. a good leave there from Murray only just snuck out the back of the court 30 15 like that, Emma Radu Kanu part of the uh, the LTA PSP program receives the highest level of funding does Emma from the LTA Fifteen. Actually managed by IMG as well as uh, Emma these days. Highly thought of. We once again just struggling to find the back end return. One game all. An easy one, one apiece. Let's go. Oh, let's get this game. Well, you can hear Andy Murray in the background saying, let's get this game. This is where they hurt the opponents in the last set. Radicanu service game just looking a bit more vulnerable. Salisbury he saw Murray coming. I think Murray thought there was going to be a drop shot there, but Salisbury just checking him by pushing it back deep. Oh. It, it, the ball hit the net and then his racket. 30 love. That's what I saw. <laughs> Your shot hit the top of the net, then hit his racket and came back. Murray thinking that Salisbury had hit the net with his racket, but it was actually the ball. 40 love. Well, Radicanu's taken a bit of pace off her first serve here, but it does show how just making a higher percentage really helps out when it comes to doubles because you've got somebody like Salisbury at the net so he can get involved there, putting a lot of pressure on Murray by making the move and putting him off his return. Game, Salisbury Radicanu. Well done, and again, they're just a slightly off pace first serve. The error coming Solsby her way. Canu lead two games to one. So they're up 2 1 as they trail by a set here. No, sit down, guys. Joe, no, sit down, mate. Emma, no, sit down, guys. It's a beautiful evening here in Roehampton. It still is fairly blustery out there, but it's 
domestic events have really taken over the tennis world right now. Of course, there have been a number of events taking place in different parts of the world. So it's a different formats, different experiments been able to come into play. Who's organizing the events have been able to create their own set of rules. And you certainly have to give it a lot of credit to the LTA club. for what they've done over the last few weeks here promoting competition driving competition trying to open up the doors here to get as many players through as possible in a safe manner so many guidelines have had to be followed for obvious reasons it's been far from easy but logistically it's been so well put together I think Raducanu just bluffed a little bit there by Salisbury. Looked like he was going to cut across, so Rado was a bit late with the take back. Game, Murray, Murray. Yeah, Two games all. Simple hold of serve from Jody Burridge, a good one. team in the rally love 15 yeah that was the one volley where he actually had a little bit of time on the ball and totally miss hit that the active volleys looking good all round very out of character first volley 15 all that's just so well with the awkward volleys he saw Murray leaning he just led with the shoulders before the feet moved so I'll be spotting the gap Kind of tracking onto his chest area, so it's not quite as easy as it looked. Got it. 
Perhaps not the cleanest return, but it proved to be a very good one. 15-14. Oh, she really has been strong in all areas, hasn't she, Burridge? And shouldn't be surprised with the performances she's put in in singles through the weeks. Looking really strong on the returns, as she did yesterday. Thirty fourteen. Just Here's tucking her up a little point. in the body there, so it was out of the strike slot for Burridge. Just couldn't quite lean out of the way. She's frustrated with that one. from Joe Salisbury. An incredible Salisbury return. Canoli, three games to two. And he finds a way to win the point from a very difficult position. 3-2, Salisbury and Radicano in front. Just maybe there, Jody Burridge has got caught a little deep, didn't she, off the initial return having not necessarily closed in quite as much as she would have done hello let's speak to Anne. Anne, how are you doing i'm good thanks <laughs> enjoying the atmosphere yes dan evans is making it loud anyway we can certainly hear that yeah. just just quickly Anne, on emma radu Kano, just give us your sort of sense having seen her progression over the last couple of years look she put in a fantastic performance yesterday i've known her since she was about 11 years old i think was when yeah when i first hit with her here at the ntc um and she's just come on leaps and bounds she's growing in confidence um you know she's got a, re a really aggressive style of play and um you know she's continually learning and Anne, when it comes to your team and the british bulldogs all i was hearing before matches got underway is how you were the underdogs but you've been dominating oh no no, no. we're still the underdogs this, this is a long week a lot of matches still to be played and um it's the survival of the fittest right now and uh yeah, well, you've still got a long way to go. You having fun, Annie? Yes, it's stressful, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, Anne. Okay, cheers. Fifteen more spin, more turn to the serve, so it just tucked up Radokanu. It's easy to get a proper cut at the ball. Thirty fifteen. Very 
shot that was. How on earth did Murray produce Joe. that from there? Joe. I mean, he was in a deep Joe. position here, it was Someone awkward. Came off in, the, in the service box, there's a little white thing. Absolute moment of brilliance. 40-15. Such incredible feel. Place. More really good tennis from this pair. Raducanu moving backwards and then up. Couldn't do much with that one. Dominant from the net. Fifteen love. Well, he's just beaten for pace there. Well, that's more like it on the serve from Radicanu. A lot of aces from her yesterday. Forty luck. Well, if they can win this point here, that will be the second love service game for Radicanu in this set. Forty fifteen. Salisbury really Raddy Canu. that return, didn't he, Murray? Salisbury Raddy Canu lead four games to three. And it's 4-3. Deep in the second set now. Salisbury and Raddy Canu. needing a reminder to be fair can't quite see the scoreboard it's alongside him right. 
time. Here we go, guys. This really has been good work all round. It's been looking sharp, I must say. Radakan is grown in confidence, that's for sure, particularly on the serve. Lay up first, sir. Fifteen lock. Well, that serve for Burridge just working brilliantly once again. First serve placement has just been excellent. Really been mixing it up as well. There's a lot to like about the game of Burridge. Let's first serve. Thirty lot. Light for sir. Good serve as well. 40 luck. Tucking him up once more. Yeah, it's a, a real vulnerability, I think, when it comes to dubs. If you've got that single handed backhand, there are a lot of dubs guys out there with single handed backhands, but it is something that the server will look to exploit because to play the off single hander. Live first sir. Off that left hip is really difficult, so getting away from the net player becomes a real challenge. Gang, Murray, Murray. Just really strong serving once again from Burridge. Four games all. Making Murray's life nice and simple at the net. Salisbury continue to keep his team in this one for a piece. Good length, just caught Burridge. It's the awkward luck. part of the court. When you're under pressure and you've got both players at the net, you just feel like the space is that much more squeezed. Bit of kick and whip luck. off that one. Not a lot Burridge could do about it. It certainly looked like it was going to go that way off the ball toss because it was quite a way over his left shoulder. there yeah and really picked the spot low. well it wasn't just a reactive volley that was calculated saw the gap through the middle of the court kept the first volley nice and simple and the second volley with more direction
game. Salisbury Radicano. Clinical hold from Joe Salisbury. He was, of course, Salisbury part of a remarkable five games comeback to four. last night. Can he do the same again here? 5 4. His team ahead in the second. Really good, guys. Really good. Lots of encouragement from the team. Pretty happy with what they're seeing. It's so much about that, isn't it? In doubles, just keeping that energy high, keeping the communication going. Time! It generally will be the way each evening that the doubles brings the curtain down on the day. And again, you've got to like the movement. 15 luck. Tila. Service games have just been so tidy all round in this set. Oh, it's a great return though. Didn't quite swing it enough into the body. It meant Salisbury could get a clean 30, hit on 15. it. And managed to find the width. Kanu, lovely feel off the lob. Yeah, and doing so well to get around that off. body serve from Murray. It was pacey, a really good dig because she had a lot of momentum through the back of the ball. Had to be careful. It would have been very easy to knock that long. Missed it. 34. That was a decent return. Yeah, yeah, the called it. it. Looked like she was maybe just a little hesitant to decide between pushing it deep or dropping it short. It was dropping a little low. Maybe the shorter volley would have been an easier option. There wasn't a whole lot of pace to the return either, and that can sometimes make it more difficult. Set points. Two of them here. What a 
played from set. Emma Raducanu. Raducanu. Outstanding stuff from the teenager. Six games to four, one set the all. Bulldogs draw level in the last match of the day. Once more, the mixed doubles. We'll get a match tiebreak. Oh, another fantastic set of tennis there and a couple of brilliant lobs from Raducanu. Catching Murray out. Alan, as you can see by the numbers, not an awful lot to pick between the two teams. They've both been incredibly good behind serve. Just a couple of points there in that final game. That's what sealed it for Salisbury and Raducanu. A much higher percentage there for them, 93% behind the first serve, so being far more effective. They're putting themselves in a good position now, heading into the final set tiebreak. So more fun and games in store here in the next 10 minutes or so. Nick Lester alongside Naomi Cavaday. This will be the last act of the day. It's been a busy one. It's been another good day for the Bulldogs. Match tie break. Two points on offer for this one, remember. Joe Salisbury part of that. Salisbury to serve. Absolutely astonishing. Recovery 24 hours ago. We'll start the match breaker. Wow. Magnificent stuff from everybody involved. 1-0, Salfi Radicani. The crowd like it. <laughs> if it's half as good as the one we had last night, in for a treat off on the right foot. Well, I think Salisbury will be hoping he doesn't go quite as far down. Just yeah. to <laughs> he only plays his best tennis from 2-8, Cav. <laughs> I think Radicano will be up for that. <laughs> right on the baseline. What a volley. One off. Just grown in confidence through this match. Salisbury Radicanu. She started out poorly at all, but looks like she knows exactly what she's doing. Yeah, and Salisbury are working really well together as a team. Good work. Two movement 
The timing was perfect. Yeah, he moved just as Radicanu had looked down at the ball, so she wouldn't have seen him go. Three two Salisbury Radicanu. Could she? Didn't make enough room for it. Ended up being an awkward one. Yeah, it had that bit of slice on it. It was almost following her. She decided to take the backhand quite early on. Ended up quite far over and it still wasn't far enough. I mean, this match has just been so tight all the way through. Everybody has been performing at such a high level. We've had great aggressive tennis. Net players have been great. The reactions. Every point has been at such a high level. Nothing to separate them so far. Andy Murray's first competitive action since he battled the Brits a month ago here. Of course, an event that was held indoors. He's been training here and at the Orlingham Club over the last couple of weeks. off from that one did Burridge trying to get out of the way of it was just sitting above her right shoulder 4-3 Salisbury to get something going forwards through the back of the ball good work from Radicanu getting peppered at the back of the court I think there was a core leave wasn't there from Andy as well earlier in the rally that didn't follow and maybe just confidence just jolted a touch Radicanu fully outstretched in the soft Five, angle. Three, Salisbury Radicanu. Salisbury Radicanu. So back on serve. As the momentum swings one way, then another. I feel like I've watched Andy Murray in a lot of match tie breaks over the last couple of years, Kev. <laughs> <laughs> he loves it. Had a lot of doubles, of course. Feeling his way back into the sport last summer. Yeah. Yeah. It actually wasn't far Five away, was it? <laughs> the Radicano return. And the perfect body serve. Tying her up. I'm sure it'll be a great insight for Burridge into the mind of Andy Murray when things get tight. You're a champion like he is. I do tend to do things a little differently. Yeah. 
6-5 Murray Burry. Union Jacks, definitely the louder of the two team benches. Let's first serve. Largely in part of this man. for a turn she was looking for. Yeah, it looked like a reactive move there from Salisbury, like he wasn't necessarily planning it, but he was just having a look to see, and he got his opportunity with a high volley to slam away. This is going to go right down to the wire. again disappointed look on her face seem to be Seven in control six, of the Salisbury rally yeah, that was the opportunity to finish needed to be slammed away and that final volley was far too tentative Salisbury Radicanu. Couple of tough moments for Jodie Burridge. Can she dig herself out of this? Such a good performance yesterday's. Salisbury Raducanu. Oh, the whole bench on their feet. So Joe Salisbury with the chance. With two serves to put an end to the evening. Seven, Salisbury Raducanu. Well, it hasn't quite had the drama of the match breaker from the last evening. It would have gone a long way if it had have done, but Joe Salisbury on the verge of winning a second successive mixed match here. Very good return from Murray. He read the wide one that time and just got it down low to Salisbury. So he had to scoop it up and just lift it too much out the back.
still match point. Touch. Game. Oh, what a dig from match. Emma Raducanu. Raducanu. She takes a hit on the shoulder, unfortunate she end, but four, six, six, four, ten, in eight. the end, Salisbury and Raducanu for the British Bulldogs come through. And it was a fine finish and a good match overall. Raducanu really did step up at the end. And it's been a good day for the Bulldogs. 10-8, they come through in this third set. Now, fantastic performance from Salisbury and Radicani. It was a great level all round, really. Massive, massive. to the Well done. Brilliant. Fantastic. We love that breaker, don't we? Owning the match breaker. Yeah, Joe, saving all our asses. How many times are you going to watch your cross and drop? <laughs> so, Andy Murray, his first outing here. Apologies for the language. Jack's for life. Sorry, partner. Sorry, yeah. Anyway, let's head down to the winners. Abby Johnson's got them. Joe and Emma, second day of competition and another win for both of you. Let's start with Emma. What was it like playing alongside someone with the experience of Joe Salisbury? Yeah, it's great. I mean, I think he definitely carried me. Uh, I made some... Made some um, mistakes in the first set but it was great to play with him like he's so experienced um yeah he's just knows his way around the doubles court really so i i kind of had a a bit of a free shot of where i wanted to go and it was great like the energy we had between us it was it was just great to play out there joe you've beaten jamie and andy now what's been the key to the victories and particularly this one um i think it was just kind of going out there having really good energy enjoying ourselves just going after it I mean, yeah, both came down to the, to the match tie break really close. Um, and yeah, we just, just kept fighting and yeah, Emma was amazing. She played great in that tie break. Well, it's been a great atmosphere at the sidelines again. I want to know who's the loudest at the sidelines? Uh, Bros is up there, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Started howling earlier, but yeah, we love uh, the energy and the support. I mean, it was an unbelievable atmosphere, the tie breaks. Um, you know, they're so tight, they could go either way, but the support is just like the experience you don't play in these kind of situations very often so it's great that we're all teammates. Well I think the British Bulldogs considered themselves the underdogs coming into this but you have a really healthy lead now going into day three. Still the underdogs or not? Well I think yeah we'd have to say we're, we're the favourites but I mean it's, it's only, only two days in there's a long way to go yeah, so we've got a decent lead but, but got to keep keep pushing keep putting those points on the board well congrats on finishing the day with a bang well done thank you thanks yeah, nicely done a delight for the teenager Emma Raducanu what great experience for everyone concerned here especially the younger generation what have we got here Cav yeah just a, a fantastic performance from Salisbury and Raducanu I mean Emma mentioned it that first set just struggling a little bit on the serve making a couple of mistakes and that was all it took it wasn't really very much but it allowed Murray and Boris to come in who was so so good throughout but because Raducanu was growing in confidence really using the experience of Salisbury she came out with some awesome shots in that final set a little dink angle low volley as well which was really important but the numbers behind the serve there bumping up towards the end of the match and that is what clinched it for them. This was how the day came to a conclusion, an unfortunate end. But uh, not to take away anything from the winning pair, especially Emma Raducanu. She's had a whole lot of experience, especially in the mix. A little bit of confusion, wasn't there, as to whether it was actually done in the at the death but it certainly was and here is how the second day of action at the battle of the brits team 
tennis has unfolded. Cam Norris kicked things off with a fine win for the Bulldogs, dominating the singles action. Joe Conta looked down and out for a while, Cav, but that was a, a really good recovery. Oh, a huge turnaround, a set and a double breakdown to Katie Bolter. It looked like one-way traffic, but Conta digging her heels in this time and today really working things out. All areas of her game improved all the way through to the end of that match, so she got the win. Beth Green, uh, Harriet Dart, Harriet Dart on her birthday today, celebrating with a W. Dan Evans overcoming Kyle Edmund for the second time in a month in straight sets. And as we've just seen, Joe Salisbury and Emma Raducanu completing a really good day once again for the Bulldogs. Here's court one, the Union Jacks. Didn't see too much of this. Liam Brody, though, who's been a vociferous supporter coming through for his team against Anton Matusevic. And Maya Lumsden, who's the Scottish number one, based up at uh, the centre in Glasgow there. Sterling University, excuse me. She was a winner 10-7 in the break here against Alicia Barnett and Jamie Murray and Olivia Nichols uh, were winners over Silver and Gray. So what have we got for you in store on day three here at the National Tennis Centre? Well, let's see how it unfolds. Heather Watson, who had a singles win on day one, up again against Eden Silver. What do you expect there, Cam? Oh, I think it'll be interesting to be first uh, first time out uh, with these two coming up against each other. Watson had a really tough match yesterday with her singles. She was a bit nervous. It was her first match back. She is not match tight, but Silver is. Watson, of course, a favourite going into it, but Silver's played a lot of matches, so will be a threat. Evans plays Norrie again, looking for a spot of revenge. Of course, having lost to him yesterday. Lloyd Glassball will team up with Naomi Brody. They'll take on England Lumsden. Jodie Burridge and Emma Raducanu, probably the pick of the singles matches tomorrow. Yeah, looking like a tasty one, only because they've both played some of the best tennis we've seen out on court so far, particularly when it comes to singles. And that will be a really interesting one. Both young up-and-comers and both swinging freely. And the big one, the three-pointer in the evening. Jamie Murray and Dan Evans will take on Kyle Edmund and Joe Salisbury. Should be a tasty finish to the day. Court one is panning out like this for us. Naomi Brody will take on Beth Gray first up. Jan Choinsky will take on Liam Brody. Of course, Choinsky losing today. Jamie Murray will be in action as well. Double dipping tomorrow, Jamie. He's alongside Katie Bolter. Uh, they take on Cam Norrie and Beth Gray. Good tennis all round to look forward to on Wednesday at the Battle of the Brits team event. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage here from the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton. We'll do it all again tomorrow from Naomi Cavalier and myself, Nick Lester. We'll say a very good evening.